All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at three mods that are gonna allow you to fly in Subnautica. With that being said, let's get on to our first mod. All right, so the first mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Seamoth Hover Module Mod, which is going to allow your Seamoth to fly and hover. What this mod does is add, it adds a new upgrade for your Seamoth that you can build in the moon pool, which I'm gonna show you, called the Seamoth Hover Module. You can configure the mod by going to the Options menu, going to Mods, and then we can see the Seamoth Hover Module right here. We can change between the fly mode, between hover and flight. The default keybind is P. You can set it to, you know, keep the Seamoth in air after you exit, max hover height, and the extra power that it'll consume whenever you're using it. So if we head over to our moon pool, and then we head over to the vehicle upgrade console right here, head to Seamoth modules, and we look to the right, we can see that there's a new Seamoth hover module right here with its own custom icon. Super awesome, but it is kind of expensive to make. All right, so now we have the Seamoth hover module installed. It's sort of like passive, so once you have it in there, it'll automatically like start working. It's not gonna do anything if I come up out of the water, but now, so what's my default thing you set to? What is it, P? So if I press P, it should do something. Yep, hovering is now on, and it's gonna just float me up out of the water, like so. Now it said the max height is 50 for me. Yeah, it's gonna lose power. So once you go over your max height for your little hovering thing, it'll automatically like start to lose power and it'll force you back down underneath that certain depth as we can see right now because i keep going over 50 and it loses power movement's pretty good while you're floating up here you know all things because usually whenever you're like flying around in a regular flight mod you're sort of going kind of fast and it's a little bit harder to control but you know with this hover mod you're just hovering over the water so right now i'm sort of i'm holding c to make my seamoth go underwater which is the only reason i'm not going up but if i let go because the hover module is still on it's going to send me right back up out of the water automatically so keep that in mind so we're just gonna turn it off so now we're gonna configure it to do the flight mode uh, okay so it's not like okay i thought it was gonna be like the other vehicles where it like makes you control the vehicle with your mouse with the seamoth you just kind of drive it like you normally would underwater and it's also not gonna send you up automatically as we can see right now it's still regular but when you have the fly mode enabled you just sort of fly up here and i don't see why you wouldn't use the flight mode over the hover mode since the flight mode is you know basically superior since you there's no um like there's no max depth that you have whenever you're going up with the flight mode enabled and you behave the vehicle like the vehicle behaves in the exact same way so not sure what the big difference would be aside from like having this little ceiling that you can't go over. All right, before we move on to our next mod, I just want to note that as soon as I looked away to go and like get the vehicle for the next mod, the Seamoth went back down. So whenever you, like if you were to exit your Seamoth while it's hovering in the sky to keep it from getting stuck, the mod automatically turns off the hovering after a certain amount of time to bring your Seamoth back down. So, you know, it doesn't get stuck up there indefinitely. So that's a nice little, nice little feature. But yeah, next mod. So the X mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Flying Cyclops mod, which does exactly what it says it does. It's gonna allow your Cyclops to fly by adding a new module that you can build. I think you build it on the inside of the Cyclops, which is why I'm in here. And then if we go to mod items, yep, there it is right there. The Cyclops flying module, a module that makes the Cyclops fly. And then we're gonna slap it in here. Okay, there's no action, there's no real changes to the, um, like the interface of the Cyclops, but I'm gonna assume that whenever we come up out of the water, we'll be able to float. Yep, exactly as we thought. Now, will it stay in the air after I get out is the question. It absolutely will. Okay, that's nice. It does change your depth, you know, whenever it shows at the very top, because instead of showing like the regular depth or whatever, or like a negative number, it shows altitude. And then it shows your meters in that way. Instead of showing it like the Seamoth did with the negative number and whatnot. A very simple yet fun mod to have, since, you know, t obviously the Cyclops can't fly in the base game. But other than that, it's a relatively simple mod, and this is all it really does. Just lets your Cyclops fly in the air. I would also like to point out, if it wasn't already obvious, a lot of these, these flight mods aren't really, um... I wouldn't say they're practical, technically speaking, like if you were going to install these in like a survival game, they wouldn't really be that useful, I would say. So just do keep that in mind. These are more for like just for fun type of thing, you know. But yeah, that is the Cyclops flying module mod as a new module for your Cyclops that you can build and install that allows your Cyclops to fly in the air. So with that, let's head on to our last mod, which is actually gonna be a custom vehicle. So the last mod we have on today's list in regards to flying is going to be the SMA-17 Numi mod, which adds a new military jet into your game, essentially. So the two batteries for this vehicle can be found on the back side of this entire plane, which is where the engines are. So if you look at each of these engines, they each hold a little battery.
library that you can switch out and then to access the upgrades you have to sort of like go over the top yeah right behind the cockpit you can access the upgrades this little white part right here six slots for upgrades and i believe if you have the depth module upgrades let me let me let me go make those for y'all real quick so i think the mat the base depth for that vehicle is 30 meters but you can increase it to 150 i believe so on the modification station you go to mod vehicle upgrade modules mod vehicle depth modules and then we'll see we have some new depth modules right here yep okay and then crush depth is now 150 meters so let's hop in and we can see it's got its own little custom cockpit down there yeah, it's pretty fast underwater and if we take it above water so when you take it above water you're going to use your mouse to pilot this thing and it's also pretty fast above water as well if only this mod was compatible with the cmoth lasers mod at least some sort of like weaponry on it that'd be pretty awesome you know shooting lasers out of this military jet flying around that'd be awesome i like that I like that idea, but I don't know how possible it actually is. This is what our jet looks like from the outside. We can see that the landing gear is still out, unfortunately. That's like a tiny, tiny, tiny little detail. I think the landing gear actually goes back in when you're underwater, but for some reason it's out whenever you're flying around. It's a military jet, which it would be, I could see some use for it in survival if it had weapons on it, but it doesn't. So it's sort of just like a leisure aircraft that you're just gonna fly around. It's super fast though. So, I mean, if you're looking to get around the map from point A to point B, I mean, this would be your vehicle to use because of how fast it moves. But other than that, it's not really, I just crashed the game. It's not really useful for anything else. I just crashed the game because I bumped into a dang coral tube on my way down. Are you serious? All right, so whenever you're flying super fast with any of these modded flight vehicles, like this one, for example, where you have to control the mouse and whatnot, make sure you don't bump into anything in the water because if you do, your game will, it's got a high probability of freezing up on you and crashing. As I said earlier, whenever you're in the water, the landing gear is retracted. And then whenever you're flying around like above the water, the landing gear is actually out so that is something i noticed but yeah overall pretty cool flying vehicle mod not only can this vehicle like fly regularly but it also has a vtol mode so if we come up out of the water without like you know going forward or anything we just press space and we ascend like so we'll just float up and we won't like go forward or anything. We'll just, you know, sort of like hover above the water and we can strafe to the left and right. Though it is, that strafing is still pretty fast. My gosh, thing is a little hard to control, but it does have a VTOL mode, which is, you know, something I don't think, something many modded vehicles do not have whenever it comes to like flying. So that does make it a bit more unique in that regard. Nice little custom vehicle that you can have in your Subnautica game to have fun with. If you have any other mod suggestions for me to go and look at, you know, just feel free to let me know in the comments below. And with that, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.